Well, it's exciting enough to be part of one hit show, but Justine Loop has hit the jackpot, starring in three of the best shows on TV right now, <laughs> including Succession and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, and with Mr. Mercedes set to return in a few weeks this season, we get a new murder, a new investigation, and more. Take a look. This is worse than prison. These places are not about healing. You know, they're not about helping people get better. They're about sectioning off the undesirables from society. You know, the people that they deem icky, the people that they deem sick. We are not sick. You know, I just, I used to be in such a place, which I know that you know, but it bears repeating. Because it's what I do. <laughs> I repeat myself when I'm anxious. And repeat, and repeat, and repeat. And Justine is here with us now. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. It's great to Hi. have you here. It's great to be here. This series is not predictable in any way. Yeah. It's such great writing, but I have to say this first episode that we had a chance to, uh, to screen, there's a, a scene in there with this writer. I won't give away what happens, but it is just like right off the bat. Oh, yeah. This it's one just out. gets rolling. I mean, the dialogue and what happens and that's crazy. So what can we expect in season three of Mr. Mercedes? Well, like you said, it's a completely new crime so there's a lot of excitement new characters um it's uh you see bill hodges kind of coming up with an emotional and also his his career runs into his emotional life and his eno emotional attachment to this crime yeah and so you see kind of everyone join forces to solve this really dark <laughs> crime yeah. well said it's without all, saying is. too much yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's a lot of new fun characters really yeah. exciting um really colorful david e kelly is the writer who you know did big little lies Alex yeah. Beal, he's prolific and he did such a good job on this show it's yeah. great writing and this is based on a stephen king miniseries right but this is part of the story that we haven't heard or seen yet yeah it's based off of a series of books that he wrote starting with mr mercedes and um and yeah, it's kind of, he, he's very generous in letting us kind of hop all over the place, but they're, the essence of what was in the books is definitely still in the series. Well. Yeah. yeah, and you play Holly, a That's fan true. favorite from the book. <laughs> yeah. Does, is that pressure on you as an actress to kind of stay true to the book, or do you kind of figure out you want to do something new and fresh with it? Mm, I mean, I really did pay attention to the character that he wrote I, it's such a rich character mm -hmm. she's so there's a reason why she's a fan favorite she's so incredibly complex and lovable and um interesting and so there was so much already there to draw from yeah. um and then along with the actual scripts that we were getting I felt like I had a lot of material to create something out of. Yeah, know. she's fun to watch. I yeah. mean, you oh, just good. love her well, <laughs> with I'm her quirky yeah. self. <laughs> when we talk yeah. about you're not only you're not on one hit show, you're on three hit shows. So let's talk about Succession for a second. Um, it's back for sec the second season. Already been picked up for a third season. And this, I mean, it's nominated <laughs> for an Emmy this year. It is. Yeah. It's such a great show. It's a, another dark show. Yeah. But I imagine for you, it has to be so much fun to be a part of this because what an amazing yeah. cast. Yeah, and it's a dream. It's everyone. Everyone, everyone on that set is incredibly um, invested and um, kind and inspired and um, it's just a blast to be there everybody's it, it's an expanding situation I'm yeah. around people that make me want to expand as an artist so it's really a treat I mean all three shows Miss Maisel Mr. Mercedes yes. and Succession. I really feel like you said I so hit the jackpot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of Maisel, let's talk about that. People, we just got to see the trailer for the next season. What can you tell us that we're going that we can expect from this season? I mean, I can't say too much. You're gonna have to tune Come in. Come on, but man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as you know, it's like no, such know. a creative world. Amy Sherman Palladino, Dan Palladino, they created such a complete vision. Yeah. It's so fantastical and fun it and is. elaborate. I love just Astrid. Don't, <laughs> yes, and, and Astrid is such a wild uh, character to play. A handful. <laughs> just so a handful. she's going to have a, a couple fun moments in this season for sure. You know, as you know, last season she announced she's pregnant. Yeah. So yeah. That'll be a fun where ride. That goes. Where did your yeah, inspiration for her come from? <laughs> you know, it's another one where they just wrote her so clearly. Like yeah. they're really um, they do such a good job of putting their ideas on the page. So I felt like I read it and she was just there and yeah. then, you know, and and Luckily, 20 Emmy, no Emmy nominations later, it's I mean, insane. something's working. <laughs> I know. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense cuz every single part of it is so 
realized, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. They really did create something special well, with you, that show. You know how to pick projects. Yeah. That is I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, I just, I feel like I fell into these, like, three amazing Yes, I yeah, can't you it. Do. All at once. All right, well, you can <laughs> catch Mr. Mercedes when it returns September 10th on the AT&T Audience Network. Justine, thank you, and congrats thank you on everything. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>